We just got the new JVC in-dash Uniton and they blew us away with their brand new flagship KWZ-1000W 10.1 inch floating panel double din head unit. This is the best model that JVC has ever offered and it's absolutely packed with amazing features including a massive 720p HD display, wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, iPhone and Android screen mirroring, an HDMI input, unique adjustable mount, four camera inputs, and so much more. But it does come at a high cost of $1,200. Stay tuned to find out if you should drop your stimulus check on it and for our power testing in just a few minutes. Inside the enormous box is a mount cover, which must be installed for the head unit to turn on. as well as optional panel covers, which will be installed depending on your chosen monitor depth. Steering wheel control retention harness. Wiring harness for power ground and speaker. USB extension. GPS antenna, external microphone for hands-free calling, hardware, display extension brackets, caution guide, warranty card, installation manual, Ten point one inch floating display, and a double din head unit chassis. Let's answer your first question. How do you mount the display? This is very similar to floating displays we've seen from other manufacturers. You'll get control of height, tilt, and depth. There are four steps for height. Two for depth. And the tilt angle ranges from minus 10 to 45 degrees. Depending on your vehicle's dash, you want to consider extending the depth of the display for some extra room. This is optional. In order to do it, you'll need to remove the mounting doors. Remove the pre-existing brackets. Remove the screws on the bottom of the chassis. Extend the mount. Install the included mount extensions. Then attach the extension covers. This will give you about an extra inch of depth, helping clear your dash if necessary. But we're going to install it with the normal depth, so let's redo all of that. The display and mount will connect with an AV plug. 
gently slide the display into the mount and feel it click into place. Use the included screws to connect the display into the mount. You'll now notice that you can tilt the display at will. Next, attach the mount cover. The final installation element is height. Remove the screws on both sides of the rear mount of the display. To select one of four height positions, this again will be dependent on what your dash looks like and personal preference. The KWZ1000W is ready to be installed with the dash kit you purchased. The rear connections on this head unit include remote inputs, GPS antenna, 3.5mm AV input, external microphone, 3.5mm AV output, 3 sets of 5 volt RCA preamp outputs for front, rear, and subwoofer, iDynalink Maestro RR2, HDMI inputs, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, Sirius XM, plus several pigtails including radio antenna, USB, backup camera, front camera, third camera, video input which can be used as fourth camera, and video output. The display on the KWZ1000W is its best feature. This massive 10.1 inch capacitive 720p HD screen looks phenomenal and was also designed with optical bonding technology which minimizes the refractive light index by bonding the liquid crystal module and clear panel. Basically it reduces sunlight reflection. The command panel on the bottom also has customizable variable LED lighting. The brand new operating system is something we've been waiting for and it doesn't disappoint. The layout is spacious, colorful, and highly customizable. I love the widget in the center of the home screen which will display whatever audio source you're listening to. JVC has added new gesture commands and swiping features. My new favorite gesture command is volume control, which is done with circular finger movements. Clockwise for volume up, counterclockwise for volume down. Swiping left to right brings up widget control, allowing you to select what you want to display, whether it be an audio source, compass, image slideshow, clock, or EQ graphic. Swiping from right to left brings up quick audio settings. Using two fingers to swipe up or down changes the layout from split widgets or one big widget. There's also a touch command for this. And to accommodate this incredible screen and new OS, JVC programmed several preset live wallpapers that really take it to the next level. Static wallpapers are also included and you can upload your own with a USB. The source selection command brings up all audio and video sources available in the head unit like HD radio, wireless mirroring, Bluetooth audio, wired mirroring, 
USB, HDMI, AVN, Sirius XM, etc. Besides the display and the new OS, my favorite feature on the KWZ1000W is its wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, which trust me are better than the wired versions. I use wireless Apple CarPlay daily. It's so much better. Video apps do not transfer. If you prefer a wired connection, you are more than welcome to use a USB cable connection to access both at all times. The benefit here is that the head unit will charge your device at the same time. Both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will display album artwork onto the home screen when in use. JVC added the new feature of wireless or wired Android screen mirroring and even wired iPhone mirroring. For wireless Android screen mirroring, connect via Bluetooth, then go into your screen mirroring settings and connect to the KW-Z1000W. It's super easy. For the wired connection, you must download the JVC OA mirroring app from the Google Play Store. The app does not open when you click on it because it's not designed to. You must go into settings, device, and change the mode from Android Auto to mirroring. JVC thankfully put in an HDMI input, making physical screen mirroring a breeze with your iPhone or Android device or other source like a game console. For Android, use our BUC HDMI 6, and for iPhone, use an HDMI cable and a Lightning Digital AV adapter. Links for those in the bio below. The built-in Bluetooth allows hands-free calling, voice recognition, and wireless music playback. HD Radio features 15 FM and 5 AM station presets. The Z1000W is Sirius XM ready with the SXV 300V1 Universal Tuner. Link in the bio for that. The Z1000W also has four camera inputs. This enables users to add a reverse rear-facing camera, front camera, and an additional two blind spot cameras, further enhancing driver safety and convenience. Purchase the JVC KV-CM30 backup camera separately for best performance. The one downside to the fourth camera is that it utilizes the video input and will not allow you to connect an external device if using the fourth camera. Expand the radio even further with the iDanaLink Maestro RR2. Offers the same exclusive infotainment retention and exclusive screens as the Maestro RR while adding support for additional vehicles and enabling Bluetooth programming directly from your iOS and Android mobile device. RR and RR2. Maestro RR2's programmable outputs are configurable via the output loader program available for PC. The RR2 also allows you to make customizable outputs for the control of other devices. Display the image data saved on your smartphone on the KW-Z1000W with the JVC Portal app, now available for both iOS and Android. You can set your favorite image on the wallpaper of the receiver and enjoy the slideshow. When connected with a USB thumb drive for audio, the stereo is compatible with playback of MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, DSD, and FLAC audio files. And for video, is compatible with playback of MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, AVI, MKV, and H.264 files, as well as JPEG, PNG, and BMP images. JVC has added an amazing feature to this head unit, the optional parametric EQ. Enabling this feature disables the graphic EQ and does require a setup with a clear understanding of how parametric EQs function. You are in full control with nine common setting adjustments, adjustable Q, adjustable gain, and filter type. JVC did not stop there. The front and rear selections provide two additional frequency points and the subwoofer selection provides one additional frequency point, each with five filter types, 
adjustable gain, and Q. This gives you an amazing ability to fine tune your audio without an external DSP. External DSPs do provide more control for each channel, but this is extraordinary for a built-in level of control. The Z1000W also has an active three-way crossover mode for those that want to run a fully active crossover with adjustable crossover points and slopes for high pass, mid pass, and low pass. JVC gives you plenty of other audio settings to control. With all those audio settings, what good would they be without a great output section? Let's test this out and see what it can do. The first test we ran was two channels driven at four ohms, 14.4 volts, one kilohertz EQ flat. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. At volume 30, our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 20.07 watts RMS, 1.07% distortion, and 8.8 .8 volts of output. We can switch between channels. We got 8.91 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 5.27 amps of current. Down to 40 hertz, volume 30. Our HP picked up 19.36 watts RMS, 1.05% distortion, and 8.7 volts of output. Channel swap. We got 8.75 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 5.35 amps of current. Next, we tested the RCA preamp outputs, which JVC rates at 5 volts. At 1 kHz, max volume 40, we got 5.22 volts of output, with 1.02% distortion. At 40 Hz, max volume 40, we got 5.2 volts with 0.99% distortion. Our final test was frequency response. We used our audio precision to run up each frequency. The Z1000W has a flat response with low levels of distortion. Are you dropping your next stimmy check on the JVC KW Z1000W? Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.